Hello, Philip here. In this video, I will show you how to achieve reactivity with SolidJS uh, library. So let's get into it. The first thing is to initialize the project, initial project that I've prepared for you. This project you can find in the description. There is a link in the description. There is a zip file. Just unzip the file and you have project ready. The only thing you need to do is to go to the terminal and install dependencies. You'll install dependencies with a pnpm install and that's it. After the dependencies are installed, to run the server and see the application, you can run npm run dev. Okay, this will start the server on localhost 3000, and you can see the, you can see this the browser when you access localhost 3000. So I'll go to the localhost 3000, and that's the application we'll be working on. It looks uh, similar to Twitter, and yeah, it's a clone of uh, Twitter. I am preparing for my uh, for my new course. I am, you can already watch, by the way. So. What I want to do here is to write into the input something, some message, so let's say hello world. And when I will click here and glide it, I want to display this message uh, in uh, my message panel just under this. So just above the, my first post, there should be new glide uh, or new message. I'm calling, it, I'm calling it glides. They should be inserted. So my first post uh, should be, I cannot type here, why? Okay, so my, first post should be moved down okay so my first post should be here and hello world message should be up here okay and i will add here your message okay so let's get into into programming back to back to code if your projects are ready all of this what we are displaying is displayed currently in upload tsx there is a, a messenger a comment messenger start and there is a text area and this text area is that area where we can type, right? So when we want to get a value from the text area, the thing you need to do is to get here callback called on input. To see all the uh, callbacks here, you can uh, just write your own and you will see what you can use here. But uh, generally, when you want to capture how the user is typing to the input uh, in text area or input, you will use on input. To this, you will provide this callback function like this. In a callback function, uh, SolidJS will pass you event like this. Event is a type of, um, when you hover over, you should see the type. is an input event with these param following parameters as the current target and the target. Okay, so whenever I want to get a value from an input as I'm typing, I can write a console log event dot current target and the uh, value, and you will now should see in a browser. So when you will go back to the browser and you will be typing something, all right, uh, hello world, you should see these messages. So now I'm capture, I can capture the value I'm typing into the text area. Okay, perfect. So now we have this. Now let's talk about the reactivity. So I, I want to use this value and I want to store it to a variable for later use. So what we can do in a solid JS, is we can use the create signal function to initialize a getter function and a, a setter function. I will show you. Let's either create here const empty array and let's call here create signal. You need to import this from solid-js. It has been auto imported for me. You can see here import uh, create signal from solid-js. Now we have this create signal. Uh, to create signal, we will be working with strings because our text area is returning a string value of what we are typing into input. So I will initial value of this, I will write empty string. And now uh, we will get here the array on the there on the first uh, spot we have a getter function, on second spot we have a setter function, we can call it whatever we want. We, uh, we will call it somehow reasonable, <laughs> we will call it content and set content. In uh, React.js, when you are used to work with React.js, maybe you remember equivalent of the React.js is a use state, right? You, are, you, will, you would be using use state and this would also re uh, return you this uh, set of the values. The first one just to get a value and the second one which will be function to set the value. But uh, actually, let's uh, let's try it out first and I will, I will show you, I will talk more. So we have here this content and set content, which is the Im initial value is the empty string. Uh, to get the value, just as we are writing into the input, we are getting the value from event current target value. We'll write here set content and we'll set the content to the event current target value. And now I can display this value anywhere in my template. So, for example, let's say under the message. So here is a glide post. 
under the glide poles, let's write here curly brackets. That's what you need to write when you want to write the JavaScript code into the this template part, and um, we'll write your content. In uh, React.js, that will be already enough because what you're getting in React.js is a normal value. In uh, Solid.js, you are getting a uh, getter function, which will provide you value. So you need to write content and you need to call this, and this will catch you the actual value from the, of the content. So now when I will save it this way, I'll go back and I will start typing here. Hi there, blah, blah, blah. And you will see we are getting this value updated. Okay, so now we have achieved reactivity. So as we are setting the value also, our HTML is updated. Okay. Uh, one big difference in between React.js and Solid.js is that if you would do this in React.js, uh, if you remember when you are setting the values uh, to the, the React.js and you're changing the state, then the entire component is re-executed. So basically you're rendering the component, the component is re-executed. As many times you will change the state, as many times the component is uh, re-executed. That's not the case for a solid uh, solid JS. The component is called only once initially. So you can think of the components as a constructor functions. They are called only once and they are they return you this template. And only the variables or the getter functions here, what we are using here, are re-evaluated. Re and they will get you new values as you are changing uh, these uh, these values. So this is sim similar, something between uh, React.js and Vue.js. Okay, so you just have these reactive pieces of data in your, in your basically in your job in in your JSX code in in the browser in HTML code, and this is getting reactively updated only in the places you need. The component is a uh, is not really executed. You can see it here when I write your console log. Up called. All right, this will be just called once and not any longer. You can see it, up called. And as I'm changing this value, component is not re-executed, only the value here in the HTML is changing. Okay, so now we have captured the value, which is great. What we can do with this now, we can get a value and we can construct a glide or a message. So we will do it like this. We'll create a new function. We'll call it uh, create, uh, create glide. All right, like this, and I will just console log here. Uh, I am about to create a glide. All right, I will write your const uh, glide, and this will be content. Glide will, will be object with the content, where the content will get from here, this getter function. All right, and it will console log here, glide. So console log glide, and it will be not calling the glide now in our template here in our JSX code, because this uh, everything is JSX here, I didn't mention, that's one uh, similar thing. What you're returning here is not the actual HTML, but it's a JSX, uh, JSX code. Okay, and uh, JSX is uh, originally developed by React.js, so you can see, that's why you can see similarities between Solid.js uh, and React.js. Okay, uh, I have removed the content, right? So now I want to submit this. So we need to write here a submission button. Here is a button, glide it. So here I will use uh, now on uh, click callback. So this will write here callback function, which will be called when we click on the button. And actually I can simplify it. I'll just call it here, create, create glide. Create glide. Okay, so save it this way. Now when we click on the button, we should call the create glide uh, function. All right, so let's get back here. Refresh, uh, call right here, uh, hi there, glide it, and you can see I'm about to create glide, content, hi there. The one thing I don't like is that they are not resetting the input as we're gliding the message, so I am expecting to glide it and see I'm about to, about to create glide with the content, and then I want to create the original input. Uh, to do this, we just simply need to call here set content and reset the glide to the empty value like this, okay? If you think of it, nothing should happen, right? So when you will go here and hell have like the hell of world, uh, nothing has been resetted. Actually, it has been the content has been resetted, but the text area doesn't know about it. So we need to go to the back to the code, and as we have a text area, we'll attach to this value. All right, and it will be content value, right? Content. Okay, so text area is informed about its own value. <laughs> okay, so. Like here, let's write here, hello world. And now it should be reset it. 
about, I am about I am about to create Glide Content Hello World. Okay, so now it's time to display this content or so to create uh, some glides. So gl all of the glides will be keeping in in uh, the array. So let her const um, glides and set and glides. I will use here again create a signal. All right, and uh, this will be not the initial value empty string, but the initial value will be empty array. And here in the I'll remove the console logs, we don't need them. As I'm creating the glide here, I will insert it into the array. So right here, uh, set glides. I'll create here a new empty array and I will insert the glide into it. We will get your error because the types are not matching. So what I'm creating here, um, basically, basically ne don't, I'm not specifying type of the glide. So you can see that type of the glide is never. So I will write here, I'll specify here type of a glide little bit of TypeScript and type of the glide, actually it should be equal sign here. Uh, type of glide will be, we have, we have currently only one field, which is a content and we know content is string like this. So I'll specify here that we are creating the glides array, which is a type of the glide square brackets for the array. And now we are able to provide it to the set glides. Okay, now we'll talk about iteration. So when we'll create the array of the glides, by this way, actually, I'm creating always new array with a new glide, which will not insert the new glide into the array, but I will show you very shortly how you can insert the new glide into the array. But for now, go down here, and as you have a glide post, use here a component exported from SolidJS called for. That's how you are looping in SolidJS, create your for component. You will provide here each prop. I don't know why these things are not provided automatically for me. This prop should be automatically detected. I cannot find name for, so it hasn't been imported for me. So I need to quick fix, click here, quick fix, and, imp oops, and import it from SolidJS. Okay, so import for from SolidJS. So you need to verify that it has been imported also for you. Okay, and when you have it, then you can just provide each, provide the array you would like to iterate through, which is our glides. Then you will provide, uh, inside, inside of the for, you will provide the curly brackets for the children, and you will like, provide your function. This function should render the component in each iteration, and this will be our glide post, like this. Okay, and here you need to call glides because, as I mentioned, get a, the things, the values returned from uh, create signal are getter and a setter, not only the pure value, but a function you need to call when you want to get to the value. So that's why I'm calling here glides. Okay, and as many glides I have, as many, it, Time I will be iterating this function will be returning the glide post. Currently only one. So I will refresh and I will create new glide hello world. I'm always creating only one glide because because the way how I'm putting it into the array so the glides I'm always when I'm about to create a new glide I'm always creating a new array where I'm overriding the old one and that's that, that's a problem definitely. So what we need to do is to insert a new glide and provide the rest of the old glides as well into the array like this and don't forget to call it. Okay, this way I will be able to create a new glide. So I'll write here, hi there, I can close this. Uh, hi there, hello world, whatever, whatever. So now as many glides I create, as many times I will display this glide post. Of course, glide post doesn't have inform information about the content we want to display because uh, our glide post component, which is here, here, uh, display this hardcoded data. Okay, it doesn't display any dynamic data from from variable from from a getter function. So we need to pass this data to it. So in Ablo TSX, we can use concept called props. We can pass the data inside of the glide post component like this. We will specify here props which we will call glides or glides singular, and we'll pass there the glide. How can we retrieve the glide? Uh, the, this for component as we are iterating the glides is passing the Single, gl single glide into this function that, that we are passing as a children to the four. So we can provide here a glide like this and pass this glide and you will see the type of this is the, is the type of the glide, okay? But now the issue is that the glide post doesn't know about this prop glide. So we need to inform glide post that it should receive this prop of the glide. Okay, so we'll go to glide post up here. We will type right there. I actually will specify here is a component, uh, not like this, but a component from SolidJS, like this. We'll specify here a type props. 
and actually can we don't need to specify your type props because it will create a generic type here and we'll write your export type glide like this okay export type glide and i will get this glide here so we'll write here component or actually let's um yeah let's do it like this let's um we take a look at this. Uh, yeah, let's do it like this. Uh, let's write here in the end type props, and uh, let's write here glide. And the type of the glide will be our glide. We are we will import from up like this, and we'll get here props. The components. So now the glide post component will know about these props. So I'll specify here also props to the glide post. Okay, and now I can display here content. So here is my first my first post hard coded data. I will I will replace them. Curly brackets. I will write here props dot glide dot content and that's the entire thing <laughs> okay so just to recapitulate we are creating the new glide we are inserting it into the it basically into the state of the glide so we are uh, providing the new glide into array destructurizing the rest of the glides setting the state this will get me the new glides the four knows about it so four will re-execute it will it will loop the additional item and it will display its content as the glide post. So we'll, we'll pass the glide in the iteration we are getting, passing to the glide post. We will re receive this glide post as the prop. Uh, not the glide post, but we'll re receive the props of the glide as the prop. And this this data will display here props.glide.content. Okay, so I hope everything is clear. We can try it out. Uh, we can go back to the browser. We can write here hello world, glide it. Hi there. Boom. Uh, how are you? And so on. So we can actually I didn't write send it. Doesn't react with the enter. How are you? Blah 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 blah. Of course, whenever I refresh the browser, this data disappear because we are keeping them only in the memory of the browser. We are not storing them to the database. But that's I'm covering in my full course. <laughs> All right. So, guys, setting the glides iterating through them, each iteration retrieve the glide, display the glide post, pass the glide data to it in the glide post, retrieve the data and display the content. That's the entire thing. If you want to watch the full course where I'm explaining everything in much more detail, the course is much longer and it will create a whole application similar to, to Twitter. Go ahead, check the link in the description or the link you can see on the screens. Check the course. And if you're interested, of course, you can you can sign up. Have, I'm planning to work to work on more videos from from SolidJS because that's uh, the one of the libraries I'm trying right now, and really I like how it works, and I like the simplicity and uh, cl cleaning less of this library. Not much dependencies, but focusing on on the on the real stuff. Okay, that's gonna be it, and see you around. Cheers. <laughs>